Some people saw snow and some saw rain from a quick moving storm this morning. More than two and a half inches of snow fell on parts of the North Woods and it stuck. Fox 11's Gabrielle Mays traveled to Shawano County where the wintry weather was welcome. If you're looking for snow, parts of Shawano County have it. The thin blanket of white powder hugs the side of the road and snow can also be seen scattered across Shawano Lake. We thought we could spend the day and see what kind of supper we can bring home. Yeah. The Sheens drove up from Little Chute looking for a place to fish. We were watching as we came up and the fields were all bare. There was, there was no snow so we were, we didn't know what we were going to find when we got here to be sure. And the closer we got, the more snow. And then, of course, when we went to the gas station up there, you could see all the people out here. The couple found the frozen lake they were looking for and something else. Uh, I've actually caught four. We had to throw a little bass in. As anglers continued to fish a few miles up the road, you'll find Cecil Fireside Inn. Have you stayed with us before? Manager Ron Brantmeyer says during the winter months, more snow means better business. This year, we ain't getting the snow that we got last year, so... We're hoping for more snow, for sure. That always brings in the snowmobilers. Brandmeyer says the inn attracts more than just snowmobilers. But we still had about, I don't know, maybe maybe half a dozen ice fishermen stay here last week. With 31 rooms to fill on any given day, Cecil Fireside Inn might have to wait a little bit longer for customers and snow. We're slightly above normal. The National Weather Service says the weather this winter season hasn't exactly been seasonal. Usually um, the normal temperature for all of December is about 30. We're sitting at about 34. With a temperature drop in the forecast, the Sheens say as long as there's a place for them to fish, you won't hear them complaining. In Cecil, Gabrielle Mays, Fox 11 News.